Number one, Minasan Chronicle Death. Okay, I am going to talk about this character from the Fat of the Kill, Yugutola Shilu. It's a cell, either one. And then she's considered a support unit with decent damage. And her herbal damage is depending on magic attack and dex, these two. Yeah, so as you can see, these two status is not bad. And then I recommend that you guys stop the video for a while to read the description here. Okay, next is about her normal attack. Okay, the damage is about this high, not bad. And the shooting range is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Interesting. And next is, I am going to talk about her main ability skill. And then for this first skill, very important. Please listen carefully. You will increase your allies, maximum HP, all parameter status, and measure that time too, for 2 times after when she moves into some empty spot and even if we are using auto she will be using this skill from the start and here comes the main point for some reason she can actually equip all of the phantom of the kill weapon as you can see all weapon can be equipped yeah and then depending on which weapon she equip the magic attack will have the changes like for example, if she equip with the sword, any sword, it will become flash attack time 2. And then maybe if you equip with this gun or bow, it will become shooting attack time 2. And then for the spear or lance, this one, it will become pierce attack time 2 instead. And there is one more thing. Right now, there isn't any weapon that is from the glove. So basically, she cannot increase strike attack or jump attack. Yeah, so maybe in the future, if they release a new Phantom of the Kill unit that is using Gruff, maybe there is a strike attack time too. But then right now, it's only slash, pierce, and shooting attack. And then with the magic attack by default. And for this second skill, it's a magic shooting attack and brings all elemental resistance from the enemy plus shooting attack up for one turn before the skill attack. Yeah, so basically, by default, the skill damage increase. But then, during the next turn, the buff will be gone, so beware. And then this skill will animate if she defeats any enemy. Yeah, quite good. And the damage is... And for this third skill, it's an area attack and reduce the target shooting range by 4 for 3 turns. Yeah, this is very good against those shooters. And then this skill will animate if she defeats the enemy, just like the second skill. And then the damage is... And for this 4th skill, it's also an area attack but only targets towards the enemies. They are quite good. And with healing disable status plus move minus 1. They are quite good. And also reduce the enemy shooting resistance for 1 turn. And then this skill will animate if she defeats the enemy. Yeah, very good. And then the damage is... And for this 5th skill, it's also super good, it will permanently increase her magic attack and dex by 300 and can be stacked for 2 times. But then this skill cannot be used again during the next 3 turns. Yeah, so beware. 
and if you master her 5th gate, it added extra shooting range plus 1. Total up will be plus 2. And of course, if you are using auto, she will be using this skill. Yeah, very nice. But you guys need to remember about one thing important. If you guys are using auto with all the skill on, she will be using this skill first. And after that, she will be using this skill at the turn 2. And if you are lucky, she will be using any skill at that. And after that, next turn, she will be using this skill again. And then after that, this skill again. And then after that, any attack. And then after that, this skill again. But then sometimes, you might be using this first skill multiple times. Especially, your allies are not together. So it will be a bit waste. Unless, you guys turn off this skill, and then just use the buff. Maybe she'll be using attack, 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 and then buff, attack, attack, and then buff. Otherwise, you also can turn off this first skill just to use this skill first. And then after that, attack, 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 and then when she defeats any enemy, this skill will animate. Yeah, and repeat. So it's up to you whether you want to turn off this, or this, or just on everything. And lastly is this additional buff. It is totally the same as the first skill. Yeah, totally the same. Except that it is one turn, not two turns. So beware. But then it will also increase her attack. Yeah, so basically she also will have more damage. And then just imagine if you equip with anything that is increased the shooting attack, it will become time three instead for her shooting attack. Yeah, so I recommend that you guys equip with Defireto weapon. Since it also increased the magic attack. Yeah, just nice. But then, if you want to use the other buff, go ahead. Yeah, no problem. Okay, next is about her sub ability skill. And this first skill is a magic shooting attack and push away the enemy by 5 square. And also reduce their move to 0 for 1 turn. But the shooting range is only just 2, cannot be as 10. Yeah, so beware. And then the damage is... And for this second skill, it's also a single attack with strong blind status. And then the damage is... And for this last skill, you can move her to any location within the range of 5 and then the height is only just 2, so beware. And she will have this 2 buff, her skill jewel cost reduced to half until she uses any 5 attacks. And also increase her maximum HP times 2 for 3 turns. And also recovers the HP. But you only can use one time, so beware. And I am not really that sure she will be using this skill if you are using auto. As for the other job, sub ability, like for example this Madan Soshi, also very good because of this. Reduce the enemy physical attack and death for one turn. And also permanent reduce the shooting resistance and can be stacked for 3 times. Yeah, this two is not bad. But then, this and this is nothing much. Yeah. And you also can use this side ability from Chronomancer with Cock Up, Cock Down, Top Status, and CT Up, Cock Up, Unified on everyone. Yeah, also quite good actually. Okay, next is about her Rash ability. She will drain the enemy, Physical Attack, Magic Attack, and Dex for one turn before the enemy attacks her. But this rash ability will not animate if the enemy is not even using any attack. Yeah, so beware. And this is not even 100% and then the effective range is only in between 4 to 6 only. So it will not animate in between 1 to 3 or 7 onwards. Yeah, so this rash ability is not so easy to use, so beware. And then this rash ability is also not bad 
There is a property of reduce any types of physical damage. But this is only for physical damage, not magic damage. So beware. Next is about her support ability. And for this passive, it's very good. Not only it increases her herbal status, the second one is very important. When her HP is less than 35%, it will automatically activate, but it's only for one time, so beware. And it will fully recover her HP, and then greatly increase her magic resistance and all elemental resistance, this too, as well as CT down notify for one turn. And then what's more, if you're equipped with any Phantom of the Kill weapon, like Slash weapon, or Pierce weapon, or Shooting weapon, this magic resistance will change into according to the weapon type. Yeah, just like the buff. This passive is also not bad, but she will not have the HP regen. Yeah, so beware. And it will greatly increase her maximum HP damage resistance. And then, she will have the gut status when her HP is 100%. Yeah, so just imagine if you're equipped with the other passive, at least she has the second life, but it's only for one time. But it will be useless if the enemy has the ability to ignore the gas status uh, with healing disable status on her. Yeah, so beware. Yeah, so more or less, this passive is exclusive for PvP. And for this passive, it's after when you master her second gate, it adds extra shooting at that. And then along with magic attack, that's and speed up when she defeats any enemy. And without any limit for the stacking. Yeah, so basically this passive is exclusive for PPE. Especially if there is a lot of the enemies. Yeah, not one enemy. And depending on the situation, you can actually switch with this passive. Like for example this one, all of the target will have CT up for one turn from the start of the map. Yeah, not so bad for PvP. Or uh, maybe this one will increase the skill usage. Yeah, also quite good. Or uh, maybe this one with the cut down stop status immune and increase her master HP. Yeah, either one. But this one, nothing much. Because it only increased the HP and dark elemental resistance. Yeah, really nothing much. Okay, next is about her mementos. Well, as usual, it is limited. Just like the other Phantom of the Kill Mementos. And this leader skill is very good for any types of attacker that is depending on magic attack and dex. And also increase her speed. And for the group skill, if you max break these Mementos, it adds extra shooting range plus one. Yeah, very important this one. And then along with the other attack status. And reduce the dual cost. Yeah, not bad. And if you are using her as a buffer, this Mementos is completely optional. But if you guys want to use her to attack the enemies, okay, this is a must, especially PvP. And this is about her BG ability. She will ignore the enemy, reflect, and absorb shield. Yeah, very nice. And with 100% hit. And then this buff will activate if she defeats the enemies. Yeah, the very same buff just like the main skill. And if you max break this Mementos, the herbal skill power increase and add the extra, if the enemy has any move debuff, the skill power greatly increase. Yeah, so basically, herbal attack increase. Yeah, and then the damage is... And if you guys don't have this Mementos, you can actually equip with this at the main slot. Yeah, because it will increase all the status. Yeah, not so bad. But if you have her Mementos, you can equip this at the sub slot. And next is about her gear equipment. This armor you can get from the Phantom of the Kill ES quest. And then it will increase her Master HP, Dex, and Strong versus the Phantom of the Kill enemies monster. Yeah, this one is nothing much. And for the weapon ability, it's very good. It will increase her shooting range by 2. And this special ability will have the power up for 3 turns. And the power up for this special ability is instead of probability, become 100% elevation. 
and there isn't any rage limit. So basically, even if the enemy attacking her from very long range, this will 100% animate. But then too bad, it's only for just 3 turns. Yeah, so basically, it's only very good for PvP. Yeah, in short. This accessory you can get from her mementos, and it increases her speed, shooting range, wind attack, support disable resistance. Yeah, so basically with the mementos, the shooting range become plus 2. And for this weapon ability, it will greatly reduce all types of damage for 2 times from the start of the map. Yeah, so basically same, very good for PvP. And if you guys don't have her mementos, this accessory also not bad from the normal Phantom of the Kill mementos. And also increase her speed, her attack, and stop resistance, and recovers her HP. Yeah, so this accessory also quite good. Or uh, maybe this one. Also increase her speed, and with the stun resistance, magic resistance. Or uh, maybe this accessory with the slash and single attack resistance. So basically, anything that is increased her speed will be good enough. Like this one, also can. This accessory is from Fujika 4 star mementos and it increased her master jewel, magic attack, and water resistance. And then with shooting resistance, magic resistance up for 3 turns from the start of the map. Yeah, so this is also quite good. Or uh, anything that is increased her magic attack will be good enough. Like this one. Yeah, but then, this will change the buff, so beware. And this accessory is also quite good, because with the sudden resistance, and then joy regen. Or maybe if you guys don't want to increase her magic attack, you maybe you can equip this one. Yeah, or elemental resistance, plus jewel cost down. And then also, property of recovers her HP. Yeah, also quite good. Or maybe with this accessory, or maybe with the Ultima Mafra, with the HP regen and jump plus one. Yeah, but then provided if you never equip with the passive with HP regen notified. Yeah, otherwise it will be waste. So conclusion is this. Thank you for watching this video. See ya Sanara. <laughs> いきましょう。始まりの風よ。決着をつけましょう。はっ。始まりの風よ。はっ。決着をつけましょう。はっ。任せて。これが絶望を超える希望の力なのね。<笑>